What a good evening. Welcome to Kenya Fun TV. This is Ayako Nyandusi with one and only Kelvin Odell. It's been an amazing match for Arsenal against Newcastle. Both teams in the EPL, but this was the FA and it was kind of a tricky game. Kevin, it was a goalless at uh, the halftime, goalless at 90. What What is your take about that game? I think um, it's one of our shoddy performances. Um, Newcastle by there today were not at uh, their top form. We had a chance of capitalizing it and winning the, the game at, even before our uh, first half. Mm -hmm. No, you know, we had to bring in our subs from our main team to come and win it for us. So I think it was a shoddy performance. Although we had results, but anyway, it's still a shoddy performance. Uh, actually, talking about bringing the subs in so that we could get the win that we we deserved, actually. And uh, will you term that the lineup of uh, Mikel Ateta was, was, wasn't the best? Even from past interviews, I've always complained about uh, the kind of selections that Ateta always makes. Mm. If you, you looked at the midfield, it was dead. He had to uh, bring off Willock, he had to, you know, he had to bolster, so he had to bring in Shaka, he had to bring in Lacazette, you know, and those who created uh, the chances that we had. That's when the, we picked up momentum. Mm. So, as always, Ateta has a problem with the selection. I think he experiments too much. He has already uh, had shoddy performances, but he's still doing the same thing over and over again. So I still complain, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, talking about Gabriel Martinelli, uh, he, he, he got injured today before the match. He was supposed to start, but uh, Rhys Nelson came in for him. Then this has been happening for him. Uh, even It happened before, before when, he, when he was injured. Do you think this is going to be a hazard for Mikel Arteta and the Arsenal team? Yeah, of course, it's going to be a problem. Because you know, Ateta always a kind of kind of oh, like the last time Martinelli got injured, um, he had to play so very many uh, players out of position, trying to experiment to be able to fill in for Martinelli. Rhys Nelson came in. We had the likes of Willock, even William, you know. And um, I've always complained also about William. You know, when he came off for Saka, when he was running off the pitch, I expected and wished that he would run and continue running and get away from Arsenal and go as far <laughs> as possible, you know. You know, me have a belief that this guy, you know, has a, but then, you know, this guy has a, a restaurant in London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why he always plays for teams in London. You know, there's a time he was supposed to go to Barcelona twice and never left. So the whole point is this, um, I he think... He's there for the business. Yeah, and I think after uh, Arsenal, I think he'll go to Crystal Palace and maybe, I don't know. Maybe West Ham, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's to finish. Okay, let, let's finish this up because you spoke about William. Uh, and it's, I think it's become problem, problematic for us now, having the left wing and the right wing. We have Pepe, we have uh, William. And then you see uh, a small kid like Saka comes in and then steps up for the job. Do you think uh, it's, time, it's time up mostly uh, for the two because they, they've played together, switching wings, but it never plays out? Yeah, if you look at the second goal, actually, you know, it was Saka who switched the wing. Uh, the, the, the ball came to uh, Aubameyang. From Aubameyang, they went, the ball went back to Saka, and that's how he created the chance, and he was able to score. The problem with Pepe and William, um, uh, William needs to, you know, cut in. But Pepe is not able to uh, switch wings effectively. Mm -hmm. So I, I really do believe, as you've said, that <coughs> Saka should be played more. You know, he's better off. Uh, rather than paper, you know, that's not value for money that we got. So I believe that these young players, uh, the likes of Smith Rowe, if you've seen from the last few games that we've played, I've, after we've started uh, picking uh, up momentum, I think these young players are the ones we need. These uh, big names have just been, you know, mm. we had a losing streak of almost, uh, how many games? We have <laughs> lost almost seven, uh, seven games. So I, I do believe that these young players is where the future of Arsenal lies in. This is Kenya Fun TV for you. Comment, like, subscribe in all our social media handles.